everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you a small unboxing from Chanel. I'm very excited to reveal this item because this is actually something that I've included in my 2023 luxury wish list. By the way, if you are interested in seeing the other items that I'm interested in, then I will go ahead and leave the link to that video and the little information link over here for you to see it. But if you're curious to find out what I just got, then please keep on watching. All right, so first things first, let's remove the beautiful camellia here. And by the way, this is actually something that I have ordered online. So I'm not really sure of what the inside packaging will look like. Usually I go into the store and then, you know, have my SA package it for me and I'm right there in front of her. So I see exactly what she's doing. But here, this was actually something small. So I really didn't have time to go into the store. I decided to order it online. So we'll see about the packaging. We're going to remove the ribbon and then this leaves us with this first box over here. Says Chanel, beautiful packaging. I actually don't have any boxes from them that are that small because usually I buy bags or shoes. By the way, this is not a bag or shoes, um, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm very excited for this little box. And when we open it, we find another box, duh. Um, and we also find a bunch of things. So let's go over the bunch of things first. So first we have um, these are care instructions um, over here from them. We also have um, a little cleaning cloth. Oh, that's very nice actually. It comes with a little cleaning cloth. Uh, so cute, it says Chanel. Um, however, it's written in black, so I'm not sure that you will be able to see from afar, but it's very cute. By the way, do let me know if at this stage of the video you're guessing <laughs> what I just got with a cleaning cloth. A box this size, I feel like this should be pretty easy to guess. Also, if you have watched my earlier um, 2023 luxury wish list video, I'm sure that you can guess what I'm getting. Um, all right, so this is now the secondary box. It looks like this and then it looks like this in the back so that was obviously the front with the Chanel logo but then the back has this quilting that looks very special um, I was not expecting that at all I like it a lot I'm just a little bit concerned about um, the durability of it because this is not caviar leather it's lambskin so obviously it's like not as durable you know in terms of like scratching and like things like that so I'm like little iffy on the durability of the packaging but otherwise I love the look of it and then when we open the box poof, open this is what we find inside it is a pair of sunglasses I'm so happy that I got them I already did have a pair of sunglasses but I had let them fall on the parking lot so they were very very scratched and they weren't very nice looking anymore I think that you know I had had them for a very long time and I was no longer really excited to wear them. So these look so beautiful. As you can see, there is a little um, Chanel logo over here on the top of the sunglasses, which is kind of an um, unconventional location in my mind. At first, I think that I hesitated with another model and my gripe with this precise model was the fact that um, the Chanel logo was like on top of the sunglasses and as I'm somebody who's pretty tall, so I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters. I was just like thinking to myself, but like, who will be able to see that? Who will be able to see what's on top of like my face? You have to be like at least, you know, a few inches taller than me to be able to see that. So that's kind of like what I was thinking, but I absolutely love this model. So obviously I will include like close ups because I just feel like like this, you won't really see very much, but you can see there's a little Chanel logo over here on the sides. Says Chanel twice over here on the top and then again Chanel logo on the side. I will also include the link, the precise link to this very model um, so that you have like all of the references and everything because you know if I just have to like 
give you the number. It says butterfly sunglasses, but I am afraid that there might be other butterfly sunglasses from Chanel. So all of the references will be in the description box of the video down below. And I paid $455 for these plus tax, of course. So obviously it is very expensive. And I think that at first I was kind of like, okay, there's no way I want to spend this much money on sunglasses. But then, you know, it is something that you will keep for a long time. Like the ones that I do have, I've had for the past like five or so years. So when you think about it, for however much I've worn them for five years, like this is definitely worth $455. Because like when I think in terms of my bags, I definitely spend a lot more than $455. And I definitely don't wear them as much as I wear my sunglasses because I keep switching bags because you know I don't really take out my expensive bags that much but I take out my sunglasses every time that it's like mildly sunny um, and I live in northern Virginia which is actually partially sunny um, I would say that like most of the time it is sunny obviously not every day like not today <laughs> as I'm filming outside it's like super dark so I had to put some like extra lighting but normally it's pretty light so these will be beautiful I'm very much looking forward to wearing them um, here is what they look like I will remove this here is what they look like on me, if I can. Yes. Here is what they look like on me. I love the look of them. I think that they make me look very like sophisticated, put together, like a little bitchy, but not too much, not like super duper bitchy. Um, so yeah, I really love the look of them. I think they look fantastic. They kind of suit me very well, like face-wise. I feel like I kind of have like a round shape um, and they don't like overemphasize that feature of mine that I don't like so much. Um, so that's what I like about them. And then otherwise, of course, you know, Chanel is one of my favorite brands, so I'm very happy to have gotten them. I also feel like the comfort level is there. Um, I'm not sure how you say that in English, but um, so these ones over here, um, obviously I will include the close-ups, but as you can see, they don't come with the little pieces that like rest on your nose. I hate that. Like that for me is so uncomfortable, um, but these are very, very comfortable. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting to style them and getting to wear them a lot. So yeah, I'm very happy that I got these sunglasses. I find them very elegant and then kind of sleek at the same time. Like, I don't think that they're over the top because you see sometimes like some sunglasses where you're like, I love the model. I love the fact that it's like very unique, but then personally, like, I don't think that I could rock it or, you know, I could rock it for like, um, like days out or something like this, but not like to go to work. And like, personally, you know, I wear sunglasses in my car, so I don't want to be rolling in the parking lot with like super extra sunglasses. I want something that's kind of like understated, very chic, very classy. Um, and I'm very happy with these. I think that they're really, really perfect. So I'm so happy that I've already um, gotten to check off something from my 2023 luxury wish list. I feel very, very blessed and very happy. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this little unboxing with me. It was short and sweet. Sunglasses or something that I was looking for for a long time. They're like an essential and I would highly recommend this pair. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.